Bora TV. The world is thinking. I mean, I think I came to, su to sustainable preservation and economics for exactly that reason. Poor countries are never going to have, in my belief, enough police to look after all of the archaeological sites that they're trying to preserve. And yes, corruption and getting money down to those areas is an enormous, enormous problem. They may protect a few of their bigger, larger, high revenue generating sites, but not others. And what it really comes out of is you don't have to throw a lot of money if you throw it well. And that's one of the things we've been trying to explore. Uh, I think Larry's probably heard this before, so I apologize, but uh, you know, I used to give a talk called Site Preservation for 50 Bucks. And I was working at a monumental Inca site in Bolivia. It had one road to it. It was at 12,000 feet, so people weren't going to be hiking around it. And on that one road, uh, five miles away, I convinced the local community to build a gate. And in fact, I paid for the gate, hence the $50. And I said, you man the gate. I said, any Bolivian who comes, charge them nothing. I said, any gringo who comes, charge them 10 bucks. And this is a place where the per capita income is less than $100. And they said, no one will pay 10 bucks to look at these rocks. I said, trust me, if they've rented a car and a guide and driven 150 miles to get here, they will pay you 10 bucks. And sure enough, as soon as we started generating 40 or $50 a day, attitudes about the site changed. People cared about protecting it. We were finally able to stop grazing. We were finally able to stop growing crops. We were finally able to train tour guides and bring them in. Now, I'm not saying 50 bucks is going to be the number. I think that was an extraordinary <coughs> case. But, you know, we are not, if we're doing local economic development in poor countries without police, then I think that can prevent a lot of the day-to-day -day looting. It's not going to stop organized crime people who are coming in to loot and look for major artifacts. But as I said, I mean, not very many people collect Inca artifacts, for example, or you know, various other civilizations that people may or may not have heard of. That's not where the collection and the museum quality is. So we can preserve an awful lot of the record that way. And in poorly policed communities, archaeologists don't get to work in them without local support. And believe me, those communities are very tight-knit, and they can prevent people from looting. I've seen it time and again.